The royal wedding is on the 15th. You can see her smiling. Amazing, guys. Stay tuned and let's hear from her. One love. Congratulations once again. Is marriage about money? No. It's about potentials. What you carry. The thing inside you. It's about the will of God and the right man, the right woman. It's about the choice, the one God choose for you. Marriage is about the potentials in you. You have to allow it to come out and let it manifest. Okay, guys, stay tuned and let's know who is Deborah. Watch the video. One love. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, guys, talking about Deborah, Deborah is a gospel artist. She has as well been a blessing to many guys, you know. Two of them coming together, I mean, it's gonna be amazing. I mean, God is going to bless them, you know. Yeah, just like I said, Deborah is a daughter of Pastor Ayenche, meaning that the father is a pastor. She's a church girl or a church woman, I don't know what to call her. But I want you to just know a little bit about Deborah. You can see her dancing, look at her smile face, you know. Yeah, she is a graduate, you know, she read law, you know, and she has been doing well, you know, in her career as well. She's also a gospel artist and I mean, she's doing well as well. Okay, guys, talking about Deborah, you know, in Dutch, uh, together with some local guys i mean i believe um everything is gonna work out well guys let me know what do you think you think that this is a perfect match guys this is just my take maybe your own take might be different from my own take yeah i just want to show you a little bit about who is the Bora, so that you will go with me maybe you are new in my channel you were like oh who is it Bora, and what is going on you know Bora is a gospel artist a graduate is a lawyer as well yeah, and she is doing well in her career. You can see her, you can watch the video, and you can see how she's performing, you know. Yeah, she has been a blessing to the whole world, just like her father has been a blessing and continue being a blessing. Okay, guys, stay tuned, and let's keep watching. Don't forget, yeah, her wedding day is out, 15th of December. Wow, go and get your Ashebi. Wow, uh, guys, you have your own already. Okay, guys, let's roll together and let me know what you think about them coming together to be husband and wife. Don't forget, some local Deborah, they are bound to do what? To break the net and come together. Remember that blessing is a marriage is a blessing and blessing is forever. I love you, one love, and let's keep it. Yeah, guys, talking about Deborah that just got engaged. Wow! It's going to be amazing. The wedding date is on the 15th of December. Guys, I mean, there's this news that has been going viral. People were like, oh, uh, uh, some local, I mean, it's younger than Deborah. Deborah is older than some local. A lot, a lot, a lot. And with him, I was like, let me find out. If being older or younger, I mean, is it the issue? Or, I mean, is the right man who's God have put them for you? Hey guys, let me know. This is just my take, guys. You know, we talk about marriage and we talk about a lot of things, you know, that goes with marriage. For my, for me, guys, this is just my take. Marriage is not, I mean, the man in question or the woman in question. Maybe let's say being the older or the younger. No, it's about the person that God chose. Is it the man that God chose for me? Is it the man that will live? Is it the person that can forgive me and forgive? Can we come together? Can we plan? I mean, can we forgive? Can we push forward? That is what you should be thinking. And remember, put God first in whatever you're doing. Seek the face of God. And if God says yes, then you go in. And at the end of the day, you come out with glory. Okay, guys, let me know. What do you think? What is your take? Do you think that Deborah should go ahead? I mean, to marry some local. And who is some local, guys? Watch this video. Okay, guys, this is a some local, the man Deborah got engaged with. Guys, I just want to make it clear for you so that you understand. He is talking about his life, how he started. 
you know, before God now blessed him to who he is. And that is exactly what I'm talking about. I said it's not about you being rich because God is the one that giveth rich. If God say yes, no one can say no. Okay, guys, I want you to understand how he started and what he has achieved from that time to now. Okay, guys, listen to what he has to offer. I guess, uh, do you know what I'll do? I'll rent the camera, I'll tell the guy that um, I'll bring the money. You guys know what Sabine means? He did this kid like that. He rented the camera, I told him that he was going to be the money after. And he split the camera. So I'll go and rent the camera, I'll tell the guy. There was even a collect the camera, I'll tell him I'll bring it. So while the event is going on and I'll cover the event, I'll be calling my brother. Wait, do you have any change on you? Do you have like 5,000 naira? Uh, I mean, I have rented the camera right? shooting the event already, you know, trying to gather money to pay the people back for me because I know that these people will not pay me. So that was how we were doing it. Until one evening, I was at church, I was walking, and then one woman called me in the community of Blue Velvet. She was like, Oh, hold on, please. Um, I know you've been begging me to do videos. Uh, I have a really nice decor. I want you to come and do it. Um, I don't really have anything to pay. I said, No, don't worry. I, I don't worry. Even if you don't have anything to pay me, I'm fine. So I ran to that event. And Okay, guys, stay tuned and let's continue. This is just a story. You know how he started, how he rented camera. The camera that he used is not even his own. I mean, you see how people, what they went through. That would say we must go through. He did not say the but he said, I will go before you and make every prepare way straight. Maybe within you, you were like, oh, I mean, I have suffered enough. In fact, no, you are about giving up. It's enough for you to, yes, I understand, for you to be discouraged in life. But don't let that discouragement, I mean, to disfigure you or, I mean, to change your mindset for you to start doing what you know supposed to do. Just be patient in life. You know, looking at this man, some local, and looking at his past, you really know that God has blessed him. So this is a man that God engaged to Deborah, Pastor, and Angel, Doctor. Okay, guys, stay tuned and let's keep rolling. One love. have come to the end of this video thanks for watching see you in the next one bye bye let me know your take in the comment section drop your comment don't forget to press the bell notification so that each time i post a video you'll be notified subscribe subscribe like and comment and share the video let it go viral remember one law one with god is majority and put god first in whatever you're doing i love you guys stay tuned bye bye for now i appreciate deeply in my heart my lovers mm. Merry Christmas to you all. One love.